Hello everybody, just uh, giving you another update. I pulled the uh, bed out of the van and I am uh, painting, the, painting the bed, paint the bottom black and I'm going to do some sort of uh, material material on top, some sort of like felt or uh, something like that. I thought it would be kind of cool to make it kind of look like a pool table. So I thought I might do that. Anyway, there's a uh, there's that painted and then this over here uh, second coat second coat on the toolbox right there and that's done that's done I can show you the inside of it now and uh, it's drying but uh, on the inside you can see I got uh, magnetic latches here and here to uh, hold the sides down and a latch a latch in the center but I mean, you can kind of see that it's, it's big. I'm going to use a tote on uh, on that side to kind of separate camping gear from tools. This side will be my tools right here, and uh, be able to fill this thing up and hide everything real good. Joanna's back from getting her uh, hourly or every couple hour uh, beverage, and uh, over here. <laughs> And then over here is all the stuff that was in the van, all separated and organized. Now that top tote is uh, two sleeping bags and pillows, and uh, got to figure out something to do with that. Uh, so this is all the stuff going back into the van, all organized. All the stuff that I don't use uh, is now been separated, and I still have tons of room, uh, tons of room in these totes. None of them are full. Uh, that big gray tote is not going in the van. We're just going to stuff the uh, sleeping bags and stuff under the bed when it's done. And a couple of chairs right there that I'm going to stuff under the bed. And this all this stuff right here is all the kind of uh, tools and stuff that's going to go into that box. Oh, and then my uh, porta potty is right there. This is my porta potty. This is what I use in an emergency situation. It works pretty good. It's real low to the ground and uh, real flimsy uh, so when you're a you know when you're a fat guy sitting on that little flimsy plastic thing it does wobble pretty good and you can't help but wonder when you're going to break the legs right off while sitting on it and then end up in your own uh, yeah anyway so yeah it doesn't instill confidence and then here's the inside of the van uh, with nothing in it I don't know if you can see that because the sun but uh, let me see if I can get in there, but there's, and that table, and that sink, that's my sink over there, my portable sink. Um, so all that is in there. So anyway, that's kind of a, kind of an update for now. I'm going to just uh, let all this stuff dry and uh, go get some uh, material for the top of the bed. And then the bed will be finished, box will be finished, and then I'll probably move on because I've got my uh, my extra wood over here. This is all my extra wood that I was left over with. As you can see, it's a pretty decent amount of, of wood that got left over. So I'm thinking I'm going to start on my console for between the seats. I got to make something to hold, you know, more stuff that goes in between the seats. This van didn't come with a console, so I'm going to build my own and it's going to be cool. I'm going to have, uh, uh, I'm going to have stuff, I'm going to have stuff, uh, like the ram mount, the ball mounts for ram, for the ram mounts. I'm going to have those screwed, uh, to the front you know attached to the front of the box and then I can attach my ram mount accessories to the front of the of the console in the front so that's gonna be really cool you know and that way I can hold my GPS my phone uh, couple I mean it'll be universal I'll have I think I'm gonna have two or three not sure gonna definitely have two not sure if I'll add a third one but I've had ram mount accessories like for years and years and years might as well put them to work you know inside the van as well and uh, Got the dash mat. The dash mat came in. I ordered a dash mat. It had had to be specially cut and stuff. So uh, let me show that to you real quick. 
get over this way here and I'll show you the dash mat. Open up the door. And uh, here is the dash mat. And this is made uh, locally by a company, a company here in Arizona. And they had never made one, they said. So they got the pattern from somewhere. I'm not sure of, uh, of how the logistics work on uh, dash mat manufacturing, but uh, they got the pattern somehow. I ordered the color and a week later, uh, a week later, the wind's blowing. I mean, it never fails, man. As soon as I hit the play button, uh, the wind kicks up. And there's nothing I hate more than wind in my audio. <laughs> so anyway, so there it is, guys. I just wanted to quickly show it to you. And that's, uh, that's all that's going on so far. Talk to you guys later on Annie.